Hi everybody, this is a super quick um, Divine Feminine tune up today. Um, these are very powerful dragon energies have come in today. I'm going to just um, do some light language to harness the codes that they bring through. Um, we've got three cards for the Divine Feminine, all pivoting around the Silver Lunar Dragon which bathes you in divine feminine light. It's connected with the moon cycles, especially the full moon, um, where you come into balance um, and practice peace, harmony and cooperation and expand your causal chakra. Um, the yin, so to facilitate that, that's the, that's the focus of this, this session. That's um, uh, what it's all pivoting around. Um, this is the issue at hand is tuning up your divine feminine light um, and to facilitate that we've got um, Kuan Yin's pink dragon bringing in firm love that resets your karmic balance. See all your cords dissolved by transcendent love. Enjoy your freedom. Look for the divine around you. So we're clearing away um, anything that's not uh, divine love, clearing away all the lower karmic patternings, past life issues, um, etc. And um, this is going to lead to the outcome of you creating a foundation for new growth. So a clean, clear, um, higher platform foundation. A fresh start is coming. There's new opportunities. Nurture your ideas and harvest the abundance so that will be the outcome so here we go we'll start by um bringing in clearing bringing in the love to clear the karma isaka chaka sotoko poko choko sotaka kakata sakataka chopoko po um i'm also getting if you can just um really look at the pictures and um, hold the intention of bringing in the love and resetting your karmic balance so really opening to that intention um, letting the your eyes wander over the picture and take in the colors and the shapes and the patterns um, and let anything that comes into your mind um, give you further information as well I'm feeling pink and gold energies coming through my hands. I'm especially feeling clearing through the solar plexus and the sacral chakra with that one um, and an opening of the crown. Um, I'm also feeling the old toxic, no longer needed stuff clearing out through your energy field down um, down your body and down into the earth and just being um, recycled back through the energies of the earth. So make sure you're really grounded. Okay, so next one is the silver lunar dragon bathes you in divine feminine light. So just connect with the moon. Um, connecting with the moon also opens the portal for the unicorns, which um, bring very purifying, detoxing, um, enlightening energy. So um, again, just let your eyes wander over the image and um, hold the intention of bringing in, bathing yourself in divine feminine, silvery light. Um, 
coming into balance and practicing peace, harmony and cooperation. So tune to peace, harmony, cooperation, moon, silver light, femininity. Um, there was really a lot of shifting and clearing through, um, especially the um, like the, the womb, the sacral, the, the the solar plexus again, and the crown um, and the throat, um, and then a lot that seemed to be transmuting, dissipating off of the body or off the energy field. Um, a lot to do with where um, there has been resistance to being in your divine feminine light, um, being in balance and peace um, and harmony and cooperation because of, you know, um, the environment and the situation um, in the history of the earth until now has not necessarily um, been supportive of being in those that feminine light really um been persecuted for it and suppressed so um the power of it very misunderstood so it's clearing clearing those things as that light comes in it clears them out so you may even find things like that coming up into view out of the shadows and into view um in your life and situations where you are um you know someone tries to push back down your light um, but just understand that it's coming up for release just so that you can see it um, and you need to just stand in your light um, in those situations so this now leads on to um, the earth and water dragon which creates foundation for new growth so this is now having cleared those and come into your light your feminine light your feminine power you now can um, uh, create the foundation for your seeds of harmony and peace and love and cooperation which are going to um, then grow so a fresh start so focus on the foundations for your seeds and to grow you can see all those little lights um, of potential of the seeds that you're planting to grow um, focus on that, let your eyes take in the energy that looks like an eclipse there, a lunar eclipse, some sort of solar eclipse. Um, I do feel this this is preparing for the eclipse coming up on the, um, I think we might ha even have one on the 30th of November and then we've got a solar one on the 14th of December if I'm correct. So connect to the cycles, connect to the fresh start that's coming, the new opportunities, um, your unique ideas that are harnessing your um, 
divine light and to create the abundance in the area of your soul's purpose. Tune to that channel as such. Do that through the light language. This means the light language and um, taking in the image. いさかちゃぽとこことこいちかぱさたかぽとこいちかぱさたかぽとこおちょぽとそう、also I just feel like expressing that even though this is a divine feminine tune up um we have divine masculine and divine feminine within all of us so it is relevant to um men as well um who are harnessing and their masculine uh, their feminine energies and bringing them to balance within themselves with their masculine so this is a healing um you are receiving codes so make sure that you um drink a lot of water rest and allow time and space for integration uh, take care Blessings.